So there is a new terminal available for Windows called Warp. And this thing is actually amazing. To be honest, I don't use terminal that much. I only use terminal when I have to do some basic Windows stuff like disk part and some other things. So don't expect me to give you guys some great examples what and how this terminal is amazing. But this thing is actually really good even for some basic use cases, even if you're not a power user. So this thing just recently became available for Windows. This was already available for Mac and Linux for a long time now. I actually tried this once in Linux. I was doing a live stream and someone actually told me about this and I was like, wow, this thing is amazing. This thing is smart. Like it can guess what you're trying to do and it has AI features which makes using terminal much easier you can simply just ask how to do that or this so yeah you got the idea so again this thing just recently became available for windows and i downloaded it and this thing is actually pretty good i mean you can replace windows terminal with this it has so many features that i won't be able to give you guys all the examples and whatnot but this is how it looks and one more thing when i tried it on linux you had to sign up and had to create a account and then you could use this but now it looks like in windows or maybe in all platforms now you don't have to sign up or create a account but uh, there are some features that won't be available uh, without signing in so let me actually give you guys example again as i said i don't use terminal that much <laughs> i only use some basic windows commands when I need to and it actually supports PowerShell too okay and git bash and it even supports WSL if you use WSL on Windows let's say for example I want to do disk part here is a thing about this uh, terminal it gives you the suggestion for the next prompt what you should be doing so this is basically what you should do after the disk part okay so you do the list disk or i can do that here and it should auto input there so it will give you next suggestion okay let's do that list disk okay oh no i turned on the uh, uh agent mode okay <laughs> oh never mind i don't know why okay i'm not a terminal genius but now it actually sees my disks here. It is working. Maybe it's running through the PowerShell. So it automatically, you know, ran the uh, agent mode. Basically now AI is helping me for some reason, or I did it on accident, I guess. Let's run the another uh, terminal here. I'm actually gonna turn on the agent mode this time manually. I can do this control and that vertical line or I can just click on it to turn on the agent mode. Here I can simply ask for anything because it's AI. So let's say for example, this is just gonna be a dumb question for AI. How to uh, see IP address of my PC? Okay, it actually showed me my IP address. I have to expand this one, okay? so yeah and you can also do the voice input that is the mic button if you don't feel like typing your slow typer yeah you can spit out your words to the mic and it will just write it down and you can also customize this terminal the way you want okay you can go into the settings uh, there are ai stuffs you can also customize the ai stuffs if you go into the appearance here you can change the look of this thing and there are themes that you can actually apply okay you can even apply the wallpaper custom wallpaper if you want to okay so there is this is like aquarium fish wallpaper uh, this one looks cool okay and if you want to you can create your own theme by uploading an image so let's say for example this one okay and you can also select the color so let's say i'm gonna go with the black one or it's not complete black it's like slightly grayish now there is our new theme okay and you can change the texts and whatnot you can also turn on or off features you can change the keyboard shortcuts everything all the keyboard shortcuts can be customized and that's that this is our custom 
a terminal thingy okay and you can have multiple terminals within one terminal you can right click and you can split pane right and you can do left you can do down as many as you want so if you're a person who uses terminal a lot this can be really useful plus it also remembers your uh, previously done things like your commands and whatnot again as i said i'm not a terminal person but this thing has some really useful features it's user friendly you can use natural language and all that so yeah this is pretty cool i guess again as i said i'm not a terminal guy <laughs> but yeah if you're then yeah here is i think probably the best terminal that you can use for your work or whatever you do and now finally it is available for windows and i think i forgot about the pricing okay so we need to talk about this too so this thing is available for free you can actually download it for free but there is a free plan and you get this many things like uh, 100 ai requests per month for free after that you know you'll have to pay uh, if you're like normal person i don't think you'll be using all 100 requests like me but if you're like some dev or something yeah you might want to go with the premium plan if you want the ai features for normal people like me never touch terminal that much the free plan will do just fine and that's it hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.